guys. So in the last video, we got this monster truck into a rolling chassis. In this video, we've got a few more parts to fit to it. So I want to get the body fitted and get one of the wheels on there to see what it's going to look like. So, so far, we've got the axles on. These axles are actually custom made to be a lot wider than a normal monster truck. If you look on most monster trucks, the shocks are a lot more vertical. And this one here, you can see them spread out a lot more. But check out the quality of all these parts, guys. I mean, you really have to see them in person to appreciate all this. We've used all the best parts for everything on this build. I want to go into that in more detail in a future video. All these parts here, they're all the strongest parts that you can buy. So today, I want to finish off mounting off the spray bars. We've got the drive shafts to put onto it. We've got more boxes of stuff in here. So let's start wrenching. Clear in, back in the house. This end here fits in lovely. This end doesn't. It's thicker here than it is that end. But I've got a tool for the job. Feel free to roast me in the comments. Look at that. That's better than the milling machine. Go in, let's see if the body bit works. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> so now with the bodging out of the way, we can now fit the sway bar. Basically what a sway bar does is stops the car from leaning too much. Fingers. I want to give you another one, fact. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Oh, car, look at that. So that, I think I know where it goes. So this is the radiator for the engine coolant. Might be a shock off job. It is a shock off job. When in doubt, give it a clap. So. <laughs> So here we've got the transmission coolers because these gearboxes get hot. Here we've got the fuel tank. Here we've got the brake pedal assembly. So here we've got Tony from Swamp Thing. We had a few parts for him in the same shipping container, so he came over for the day and gave us a little hand as well. Come in, this goes. Time to put the body on. <laughs> ah, that looks so cool. Next, we gotta get one of the big wheels on so we can see if the body lines up properly. No. We have a problem. It doesn't fit. Apparently, grinding down the hubs is the solution. We've got no gap. Here we're taking off the powder coating and a welding seam to try and give it a little bit more room. Oh, guys, so the inside of the wheels, they do not fit over the hubs. I think it only literally needs like one or two millimeters taking off to bring it down a little bit. But also we've got the weld on here and that weld is gonna sit on there. It's got a slight radius here, but it's not enough. And we can't really take more of this off because then the wheel's gonna fall into that recess. So we're gonna have to grind this weld down a little bit as well. Not ideal, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So now we gotta get the grinder out and destroy all this nice powder coating. Also, if you look at most Monster Jam trucks, they've got this inner bead stiffener that welds onto the rim. Mine don't have it on there. So I'm going to have to get a ring made and weld them on because if you don't, apparently, then you can bend the rim when you land big jumps. I suppose this thing being too easy had to come to an end at some point. Anyway, here's a picture of one of the big wheels on and the body on so you're going to get some idea of what it's going to look like. So now that we've got the body chilling on there, we now need to make the mounts. So the chassis has got these brackets on here. So we screw these plates to it like that and then we can have some body mounts coming off of there. I've got no metal, but I've ordered it and that should be here in the next few days. We can't fit the drive shafts yet because we're waiting for bolts to bolt this on. And on the front one we can't fit it because we need to make a bracket or see if we can order one that goes round there to hold one of these rotator things on there. This is what holds that yellow safety cage thing. But what we can do while we're waiting is fit one of these things onto here. No idea how, but we'll figure it out. So somehow we got to get that onto there. No idea what we're doing here, guys, but I suppose we've got to figure it out somehow. So do these come off? Oh yes, so we're professionals. Oh, 
hope we're doing it right, guys. This is too easy. Hey, what are you doing, Stan? Just having a bit of fun. This is the one, man. Best cool going, that is. Look how easy that is. And then that's where we put the Lexan panel on and then it gets held on with these little Zeus clips like that. We're all waiting for nuts and bolts, but while that's happening, we're going to watch a monster truck show. And then once we get back, hopefully, the nuts and bolts will be there. We can get the rest of the body mounted and the drive shafts. So I was hoping to take part in this show, but we never got the truck built in time. It is pouring it down. Here we've got Tony from Swamp Thing, who was at the shop earlier. Well, there he is, look, he's got his trophy. Oh, it's Christmas every day. Oh, check it out, we've got all the nuts and bolts turned up so we can now mount the body. We've got bolts for the pedals. But we really got to get the seat in there first so that we know where it all goes. We've got these jam nuts here for the rod end. Let's get a little bit of grease on there so you guys don't tell me off. Then we can get one of these nuts on there. And the rod end, a rose joint, heim joint, or whatever you want to call it. A bit more grease. Nuttage. Heim. So this here is the drive shaft safety loop. It goes around the outside of this and in case this blows up or something, it stops it all flying out and getting the crowd. Got the front one there ready as well, look. Next, we need to get this thingamajig here and bolt it onto that. I suppose we better put a bit of grease on there. And a bit of Loctite. And then we've got to get another one onto the front here on the transfer case. The engine sits in there, transmission goes there. And then the main transmission turns this shaft here in the transfer box. And that's got a load of gears in there that puts the power down into here. So there you go, that's spinning around there. And if we look on the other end, that one there's spinning too. And then this drive shaft here connects this to the axle there. It's pretty much exactly the same as an RC car. Postman. Oh, it's Christmas every day. Oh yes, guys, I've been waiting for these now. We can bolt on that bearing block there. And now we can get all of this lot on. Somehow we've got to try and figure out how. Just look at the quality of these parts, guys. So next, I think we've got to get this piece here onto there. I haven't got a clue what we're doing, guys, so feel free to roast me in the comments. And we're running out of space in here as well now. So this has got to come off here, I think. And now we've got to fit it onto here. Hopefully I did it right. It looks good to me. This is too easy. So we've just had all the parts turned up so we can now make the body mount. We've got this rear hoop, we've got some plates. We've got a load of nuts and bolts. And I think we've got a weld that on there because that's where the hoop's gonna go and that's what's gonna hold the back of the body on. So here I'm just getting the paint off so that we can weld to it. So here we're welding the brackets onto the chassis. So 
So next we've got to take the body off. We've got to grind a little bit more out. I want to get it to sit down as low as possible just because I think it's going to look better like that. We've got the back hoop on there, look. And then we can make all the outriggers that hold the body actually on. That's the plan anyway. We're probably going to mess it up. So now we've got to take the body back off so that we can grind it. Fire extinguisher next. Have we got him? He's bottled it already. <laughs> oh, that's good. Bad. <laughs> keep going, keep going, and then get off and walk. <laughs> Jesus. Have we got that? No chance. <laughs> So now with the silliness over, let's get back to the horrible job of working with fiberglass. People in the comments tell me off for not wearing a muzzle. I've got one on now. Alright, this butt's up flush. Ish. So here we're just making a few plates to hold the body together. It doesn't line up at all. If you make it flush there, Pretty you've got a big gap one. there. And if you try and hold it there, we've got a gap there. I've made up a little plate. Hopefully, that's going to pinch it and pull it straight. Ian reckons it's going to crack. Oh, that corner will crack it. I reckon it's going to be all right. <laughs> we'll soon find out in a minute. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. yeah. Who was right? We'll you were right. Ah. He was wrong. <laughs> so, luckily, the body didn't crack. Too easy. Is this like an RC car? Is this exactly the same? So we've got the body all mounted on there, we've got it perfect in the right place. And next, we've got to weld these little tubes in, and hopefully it's going to be in the right place. Oh yeah, Fasha! Oh s***, got fire. <laughs> so there we go, we've got the start of the front body mount made and next we've got to work on this one here. So we've cut these tubes here, so we're just going to weld that onto there, then that onto there. Next, we've got to curve the plate to fit the body. Oh no, it's only a toy. So guys, it's been my dream ever since I've been a little kid, probably about five years old, to have a monster truck. I used to read all the books, I used to watch all the videos, all the VHS tapes, all the, the monster truck events on Eurosport. I was like the, the biggest fan. And then in 2014, me and my friend, we went over to Las Vegas to watch the Monster Jam World Finals. And when I actually saw these beasts in the flesh, and especially when they started up the engines at the parade, where they drove past everybody. It just made all the hair on my, on my neck stand on end. It gave me goosebumps. And it, it was at that moment that I knew that I'm gonna build a monster truck and I'm not gonna let anything stop me. And so many people said to me, Kev, you're never gonna do it. Kev, you're wasting your time. Kev, go and get a job. Go and get yourself a nine to five job. And guys, if I would have listened to those people, then I wouldn't now have, you know, dream's not done yet, but we're getting there. We, we've got all the parts, we've got the engine coming. This thing should be up and running in the next couple of months. And you know, I'm, I'm not some, some super brainy whiz kid with a super crazy high IQ. I'm just an average dude. You know, I, I never did well at school. I always got into trouble in school. Uh, I dropped out of college. I failed most of my exams. I've always had minimum wage, low paying jobs. And everybody told me that I'm never gonna make it in life. And you know, I don't wanna say that I've made it in life. 
but you know, I've, I've made my dream. So whatever your dream is, you know, it might not necessarily be monster trucks, it, it might not be whatever else, you know, but whatever your dream is, you find a way to make it happen. Don't listen to the naysayers. Don't listen to the people that, that say it can't be done, because they're the people themselves that have given up on their dreams. Don't let them make you give up on your dreams. If you've got a dream, you go out there and you find a way of doing it, and it's gonna probably, gonna, there's gonna be many failures along the way. It's always, it was always my dream to make a full-time income and to be able to buy stuff like this uh, just for making money from the internet. And I probably tried over 10 different things, 20 different things, and I failed and I failed and I failed and I failed. Eventually, I found something that worked. And then once I found that thing that worked, I just gave it my everything until I got to my dream. So listen to the people that have accomplished their dreams. You got a dream, you go out there and you go make it happen. Body is fully mounted now. We've still got to cut out these arches here, but we've got to get the big wheels on for that first. So next, we're going to take the body off and do some work on the interior. But just quickly show you what we've done. So we've got that frame there holding the front end on. Got this little tubey thing there. And then round here, we've got these here holding on the tailgate and the bedsides. And then around here, a few more brackets there holding it on. We have absolutely no idea what we're doing, so hopefully it's going to hold up. Let me know in the comments, guys, if I've done it wrong. So in the next video, we're going to take the body back off again, store it away safely. Then we're going to mount all the interior, get all the gauges in, all that sort of stuff. And then in the video after that, we're going to fit the engine, the gearbox, and hopefully get it running for the first time. Look at that, Claire is impressed. <laughs>